দিয়ে কাজ করাবো আমার শিক্ষককে দিয়ে তদারকি করাবো সে তিনটা বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ে পড়ায় তার কতটুকু সময় আছে বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়কে দেওয়ার জন্য তাই আমি ওই দুঃখ বোধের জায়গা থেকে কিন্তু বলছি মানুষ মানুষ হতে হলে একটা জাতিকে ধরে রাখতে হলে প্রথম সপ্তাহ হল মানুষ হতে হবে মানুষের মধ্যে সে চেতনা থাকতেই হবে যে আমি যা জানি আমি তার একজনকে জানাবো এবং আমি যা জানি তার দেশের মঙ্গলের জন্য কাজে লাগাবো কিন্তু আমি যদি সবসময় ব্যস্ত থাকি আমার নিজের কিভাবে অর্থ বৃত্ত আমার নিজের কিভাবে গাড়ি বাড়ি হবে তাহলে আমি কিভাবে এই মেগা প্রকল্প সত্যি সত্যি কাজে লাগাবো বা আমি মেগা প্রকল্প আদতে এগিয়ে নিয়ে যেতে পারবো আমার একটা রাস্তায় একটা ছোট ওভারব্রিজ হবে কারণ দুটো ছেলে মারা যায় আমরা দু বছর আগে চেয়েছিলাম ফুট ওভার ব্রিজ করে দিতে সেই সেটি হচ্ছে এখন আপনারা জানেন যায় কি না আমি কিছু হলি রাস্তা বন্ধ করে দেয় সেটি হচ্ছে সেটি কোনো কোনো দোকানের ক্ষতি হবে দেখে উত্তরে হতে পারবে না দক্ষিণে হতে হবে উপাচার্য হিসেবে কিন্তু আমার জন্য এটা লজ্জাজনক কারণ যেটি ঠিক জায়গা সেটি ইঞ্জিনিয়াররা বলবে সেটি যারা এই ডেভেলপমেন্টটা করতে এসেছেন তারা বলবে তো আমি যে দুঃখের কথা বললাম যে আমি যে সবসময় নিজের স্বার্থটা ভাবছি তাই আমি দেশের কথা কখন ভাবব আমি সেই জন্য আমি মনে করি প্রত্যেকটি বিষয় আমার পূর্বের পূর্ববর্তী বক্তা তা আমি আচ্ছা উনি যখন বলেছেন উনি যেরকম বলেছেন যে পভার্টির কথা যেরকম ভাবতে হবে প্রসপারিটির কথা ভাবতে হবে আমি মনে করি সেটি আমরা কিন্তু দায়িত্ব সীমার অনেক উপরে চলে গেছে আমাকে আমরা আমরা পভার্টির সীমার অনেক উপরে চলে গেছে কিন্তু বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ের উপাচার্য হিসেবে আমি প্রতিদিন কমসে কম পঁচিশ জন লোক পাই যারা নারী এবং দরিদ্র পুরুষও আছে যার কিছুই নাই করবার সে একটু কাজ চায় তার একটু ইনকাম চায় তাহলে দারিদ্র চলে গেছে চলে গিয়েও কিন্তু আছে অন্য ফর্মে কারণ স্বামী ছেড়ে চলে গেছে বাচ্চাদের নিয়ে এসে আশ্রয় চায় আশ্রয় আমার কাছে আমি তো ইন্ডাস্ট্রি না আমি যতই বলি আমি তো ইন্ডাস্ট্রি না আমি তো বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় কিন্তু এখানে তো মালিক কাজ আছে এখানে তো সুইপারের কাজ আছে আপা একটা দেন কিছু একটা দেন হিসাব করে আমি দেখলাম আমি একটি অপরাধ করে যাচ্ছি চার বছর ধরে চাইলে গভর্নমেন্ট আমাকে শাস্তিও দিতে পারেন সেটি হলো দূরের দারিদ্র দূর না করে আমার ভেতরে আমার কাছেই যে দারিদ্র আছে আমি সেগুলো এখন দেখে দেখে দূর করার চেষ্টা করছি অর্থাৎ আমার যে সুইপার পঙ্গু হয়ে গেছে তার পরিবারের একজনকে আবার কাজ দিচ্ছি আমার যে মালি হঠাৎ মারা গেছে তার পরিবারের একজনকে আমি কাজ দিচ্ছি কারণ আমি তো সারা বাংলাদেশের দায়িত্ব দূর করতে পারবো না তাহলে অন্তত পক্ষে এইটুকু করি জাহাঙ্গীরনগরের এইগুলো আমি করতে পারি কিন্তু তাই বলে শিক্ষকের বেলায় হবে না তার সেইখানে মেধা লাগবে সেইখানে তার এই সব টেকনোলজি সে জানে কি না কিংবা সে তার বিষয় জানে কি না সেগুলো কিন্তু আমাদের দেখতে হবে কিন্তু সুইপার বালি এটা কিন্তু যে কেউ হতে পারে দিনাজপুর থেকে আনলেও হতে পারে জাহাঙ্গীরনগর থেকে নিলেও হতে পারে তাহলে এই ক্ষেত্রে কিন্তু আমি একটা নিজে নিজেই একটা পলিসি উদ্ভব করেছি বলতে পারেন এখন এটা দেখা যাচ্ছে খুব কাজে লেগেছে আমাদের পরিবারগুলো দুস্থ থেকে দুস্থতর হয়ে যাচ্ছে না সেটা বিচার হতে পারে তো আবার যেটা মনে হয় পভার্টি দূর হয়েছে কিন্তু পভার্টির ইনার প্রবলেমস যেগুলো সেইগুলো নিয়ে আমাদের ভাবতে হবে আমি মনে করি যে না হলে প্রসপারিটি চেতনাটাই পুয়োর পিপলের মধ্যে আসে না সে খায় সে পড়ে সে এখন স্যান্ডেল পরে অফিসে যায় কিন্তু সে শিক্ষা দীক্ষায় কিংবা একটা দক্ষতা অর্জনে সে আগ্রহ প্রকাশ করে না এটা আমি ভেতর থেকে দেখেছি 
এখন দক্ষতা অর্জনের বিষয়টিতেই আমার একটি বলবার আছে সেটি হলো আমরা বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ে যদি অনেক করি বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ের যে দক্ষতা সেখানে হয় সেটি আসলে আমাদের বেশিরভাগ লোকের অভাব বা প্রয়োজন পূরণ করে না বরং যারা একটা পর্যায় পর্যন্ত গিয়ে আসলে আর নেতে নাই তাকে কি আমি কোনোভাবে দক্ষ করে তুলতে পারি ইন্ডাস্ট্রিয়াল জবের জন্যই হোক কিংবা আমার ভালো রাস্তা বানানো ভালো ঘর বাড়ি বানানো চিকিৎসা খাতে কাজ করার জন্য এইগুলো আমি মনে করি যে মানব সম্পদের বিষয়ে আমাদের একটু ক্লাসিফাই করে চিন্তা করা দরকার সেখানেও আমি আবার একটি মৌলিক প্রশ্ন পাই যে আমার ছেলে শিক্ষিত পরিবারের বলে সে ইউনিভার্সিটিতে আসবে আর আমার সুইপারের ছেলে আসবে না শুধু সেখানেও সুযোগ দিতে হবে মেধা সুযোগটি দিতে হবে কিন্তু আমি যেটা মনে করি আপনারা কাজ করেন একদম আসল জায়গায় আপনারা আমাদেরকে সুযোগ দিতে পারেন বলতে পারেন যে আমরা যেন এমন কিছু ইনস্টিটিউট তৈরি করি বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ে হলেও তার ভেতরেও যেখানে প্রকৃত মানব সম্পদকে ধরে রাখা যায় হারিয়ে না ফেলি আমরা সেইটি চেষ্টা করা এবং আমি মনে করি আমাদের যে কোনো উন্নয়নের সময় একটা অনুন্নয়ন বা ভেতর থেকে একটি বাধা কিন্তু আসে সব দেশে এসেছে আমাদেরও আসবে আমাদের ট্রেডই আমরা ইন্টারেস্টেড করবো আমাদের ছেলে মেয়ে লোকজনকে কিন্তু সেই ট্রেড যেন মাদক ব্যবসা না হয় তাহলে এইখানে আসলে কিন্তু পুলিশের সাহায্য দরকার আমরা এমনই বিপন্ন পুলিশ বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ে ঢুকে না কিন্তু আমি সারা দেশের জন্য বলছি এটি কঠিন হাতে দমন করা দরকার না হলে যে কোনো ভেতরকার শক্তি নিঃশক্তি হয়ে যাবে কারণ এটা এমনই ব্যাধি তো আমি একটু এলোমেলো করেই বলেছি আমি জানি একটু একটি প্রজেক্ট আছে সেখানে আবার ছেলে মেয়েদের কাছ থেকেই জানি অনেক ইনোভেটিভ আইডিয়াস ওদের আছে কিন্তু সব আইডিয়াসের উপরে একটি আদর্শ শেখাতে হবে সেটা হলো আমার জন্য না তোমার জন্য আমার আসলে জাতীয় দেশের জন্য ওদেরকে আত্মনিবেদন করতে হবে এটা কিভাবে শিখাতে পারবো এটা আমি মনে করি কি শিক্ষা প্রকল্পে মেগা প্রজেক্ট হওয়া উচিত ধন্যবাদ Dedication from four of your world. Uh, we know teachers are always perfectionist. This shows our uh, dedication also. Prashna hoche manush manano jatche ki chole jatche brain bolo, dukho bol, nijer khatar hapche, nishar khatar hapche, nishar khatar hapche. She told about the inner cause of, cause of poverty, uh, human resource classification, and uh, uh, all of uh, Mother, uh, this morning we were also discussing about the uh, development of our children. Uh, this education system, you teacher, uh, created uh, that brain, those uh, who are living in the country. Uh, you teacher uh, created these uh, uh, officials, those who gave the uh, GDP growth of 7.86. Life expectancy, uh, say, uh, better home mortality, child, uh, infant mortality, uh, power generation, uh, GDP, everything. Uh, so we want to be more perfect, more perfect, perfect. Uh, how to keep this? And one thing is this, the brain, those who are living, they're coming back also. Yes. One person is sitting in this panel again. Uh, and uh, it is probably in India also that uh, the uh, brain drain once it was told, now the brain are coming back uh, with much more experience, which can help the country uh, in, a, in a very uh, strong, stronger way. So thank you very much for your nice deliberation. Now, 
we will hear from our uh, policy advisor to HY, Mr. Anil Chaudhary. Mr. Chaudhary. Honorable team guest, respected moderator, respected director, distinguished keynote speaker and panelist, respected senior secretaries and secretaries, colleagues. Uh, actually, there are three people who have come back in this panel, it looks like, yeah. from the press. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll talk about three things. I'll talk about technology a little bit, but my next panelist, uh, this Kabir, will go deeper into that. I'll talk about innovation, which is what we do at it well. And I'll also talk about entrepreneurship, not only in the private sector, but within the government. So our honorable keynote speaker talked about how the world is changing in an unprecedented way. But it is also changing at an unprecedented rate. If you look at these technologies over the last 100 years that have taken the time to reach 50 million users, you'll see that the telephone took, not the mobile phone, the rotary phone took about 75 years to reach 50 million users. The radio took 38 years, TV 13 years, I mean the progression, uh, internet four years, and if you look at the, the latest, not the latest, but it's quite old now, Angry Birds, the, the gaming app, which took 35 years. And recent apps have actually taken even less time. So as we prepare to take charge of the future, not be shaped by it, we we'll have to keep pace with this rate of change. We talked about ICDs, so technology will solve our problems. But it's really, Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor talked about people. It's people who actually change things and solve problems. ICTs are just a tool. So I will de-emphasize what ICTs will do, but I'll talk about what people will do. But let's take a look at what Bangladesh will look like in 2041. In terms of poverty, we'll have almost no poverty at that time. In terms of jobs, two-thirds of the jobs that will exist in 2041 have not been invented yet. They don't exist yet and we'll have massive job losses in the manufacturing sector as we go along. So we have to take precaution and come up with different ways of addressing that problem. We'll have trade and payments across the border, which is completely seamless. There won't be any uh, border friction at all. So which basically means huge opportunities for local producers, but also huge competition for the local producers. We'll completely redefine education. We may not have schools at that time, will definitely not have universities as we see them today. The universities will be completely borderless in the next 20 years. Services from the government will, will get fingertips. We talk about e-governance now. E-governance will not be awarded in 2041 because everything will be governed. There is no governance without E at that time. So government-citizen relationship will be completely redefined. Farming decisions will be made more and more by microsensors in the fields <coughs> through Internet of, uh, Internet of Things and satellites. So we'll have much higher in, but at the same time we'll print a lot of our food through boxes like the microwave. So you can actually press hamburger and a hamburger will be printed. Healthcare will be dominated by artificial intelligence and robots. It's already happening. We're already seeing robots as much more accurate surgeons in hospitals. We'll have not only self-driven cars, which basically will obviate the need for drivers, but we'll also have flying cars, which may actually address the traffic problems in a very different way. We'll have a new social contract <coughs> that will evolve over time, uh, which basically means we'll have different type of democracy. Not the representative democracy, but much more direct democracy at that time. Asset management, the issue of land, like the land secretary here. Uh, asset management, that corruption will become near zero because of technologies like blockchain. We'll reach singularity in 2045, which means a computer will be more intelligent than it may be. Which may basically means we'll compute emotions. Love and hatred will actually be computed by computers. And we'll have interstellar, interstellar colonization. So we'll actually have some home in Mars. Who will get to go there? We'll have to decide. So we talk about innovation. So I talked about technology, but what is, an in what is innovation? So we're seeing many different ways of solving problems. Innovation really is a different way of looking at old problems and solving them. 
So the story of innovation, the story of culture of innovation within civil service has to be nurtured and coordinated. And we want to brand Bangladesh as a top innovation nation by 2041. If not the most innovative, one of the top most innovative nations. Uh, I'll actually go very quickly here. Uh, JFK, in his Mission Moon speech, basically talked about the resources already existed to put man on the moon, but it was not put together correctly. Bangalore talked about a new country where everybody could work together to make that country happen. Our Honorable Prime Minister talked about a digital Bangladesh whose uh, existence 10 years ago was a uh, creation of laughter for most people in, 20, in, in 2009. Now it's becoming a reality. And creation of 2041, we have to take it very seriously. It could be called a new innovative nation or a creative Bangladesh, uh, but innovation will drive the future of Bangladesh. Uh, as we did a number of uh, consultations led by our Honorable Principal Secretary, and also facilitated by our Honorable SDG Coordinator at the Prime Minister's Office, we came up with six strategies. And we're calling it the four, five, six approach. So four actors, industry, government, academia, and citizens working together to create five deliverables future-ready citizens, adaptive population, competitive nation, inclusive growth, and global relevance through six strategies. Transforming the education sector, where every student says, I am the solution. And I think uh, an honorable vice chancellor talked about a scenario where this is not happening today. Inclusive innovation, not only for youth, women, and disabled, but by them. R&D collaboration that needs to happen across industry and academia, facilitated by the government through commercialization. The commercialization part is not happening today. Creation of greater trust within the government by simplifying processes and policies for service delivery. And we talked about brain gain, bringing the brains that actually have left Bangladesh, bringing them back, at least the brain, if not the body. And uh, branding of Bangladesh as a deliberate effort to brand it as a top innovation nation. Let me talk about the last thing, third thing, which is creation of something that we're calling governorship. Entrepreneurship within the government, not just in the private sector. And we see four ingredients for that happening. Creating a sense of purpose that is shared across all of us, all of you. Creation of autonomy, which will allow us to experiment so that when we we have a new idea, we have that space and maybe a little bit of budget to create new experiments. And this is something that we have actually tried from a to I, many ministries and many districts and many sub-districts. Upozalas are actually trying this. We have a training process called Empathy Training, which has trained about 1,500 uh, officials of the civil, officers of the civil service at different levels. And there are about 1,200 projects uh, that have been spun up by them at different levels. Creation of the right competence to make institutional change. I think the morning was spent on talking about change management. So this is something that we started the journey of. And cooperation. So not just within government, we're all, we're, we see silos within government. Land ministry does not talk to the law ministry to create a seamless land sector. So we have mutation and deep registration into different ministries. So those ministries need to work together. But at the same time, we need to work with the private sector and with academia. So without that cooperation, we won't see the Bangladesh that we are envisioning today. So what we have seen in the last 10 years, we started calculating from 2010, uh, the measure that we have introduced called TCV, time, cost, and the number of visits to access service. We have calculated this over a uh, over 90 different services across different sectors, education, healthcare, agriculture, land, and so on and so forth. And we have seen that we have saved <coughs> citizens by serving about 300 million services over the last uh, eight years, about 120 crore work days, about 40,000 crore taka, and 63 crore visits were eliminated. 
through creation of these digital centers, uh, creation of a national portal, which now has about, uh, actually this says 200 services, we have about 500 services in the national portal right now. <coughs> creation of a hotline, which is triple three, that has already amassed about 1.7 million calls. And creation of a new technology platform on the smartphone for the illiterate, targeting the agriculture, targeting the farmers, and the expected workers. So this is going to be some of the foundations of the models. Uh, about a month ago, we had a workshop uh, at the officers club. Many of you were there. But we talked about digitization of 2,800 services. And the next three years target is to digitize 1,800 of those 2,800 services. And you have, each of you will have at least maybe 30 to 50 services that you have to digitize. So that's one effort that you have to embark on. Absolutely so. So I'll end with this last slide, which talks about three P's, three C's, and three R's. You know, to execute creating that new Bangladesh, innovative Bangladesh. So in our empathy training, we've seen uh, three stages. The training happens in stage one, which is initiation. But the training continues. We actually execute on the learning in the training and you celebrate success or look at lessons from the failures. So in the initiation phase, we see three Ps, identifying a problem, planning to solve the problem, and creating a small prototype of what the solution will look like before we embark on mega projects. In the execution phase, uh, particularly cabinet division and the prime minister's office have created dashboards where we encourage healthy competition across ministries, across districts, across opposites. So we have annual performance agreement. We have e-file dashboard. So many different ways to create competition, healthy competition across organizations. But there is also collaboration that needs to happen, much more so than is happening today. Not only within government, as I said, but also with the private sector. And this new culture of coaching that we have seen creating or bearing many fruits. So whether you want to be coaches to many of the experiments that are happening in the field because you are much more senior than many of the experimenters in the field. Or you want to bring in coaches who have retired, like we have Mr. Kazi Aminul Islam, who can become a coach. And he's coaching us on creating partnership with the private sector. Uh, in the celebration phase, three R's, in terms of recognizing civil servants who have taken risk to create new innovations. Rewarding them at different levels, maybe at the district level by the DC or the MP, or even at the highest level by the Honorable Prime Minister. So already there is uh, effort going on around this. And replication. So if there is a good experiment which has borne fruit in a Uzzela or in a district, maybe secretaries can take that and actually replicate that across the entire country. I'll cite one example from the healthcare sector. Uh, one doctor in Lukozela in Borishal identified that about 2,000 of his poorest families don't come to his Lukozela health complex because they don't feel that they'll get the service. They don't wear the right clothes, they don't have the right language, they don't look important enough and they won't be able to enter the Lukozela health complex. So what he did was he created a small database, created paper cards, which he calls VIP cards, and created a VIP line. VIP line actually brings all the people with the VIP cards to the beginning of the line. And that's how he's actually serving his uh, clientele customers. So maybe that's an example of an experiment that was successful in one Upazala that can be replicated in the 490 plus Upazalas of the country. And that's where we can play a role. Thank you very much. And also 3P, 3C, and 3R. Thank you very much, Adit Children, for uh, showing you very uh, big picture where we will be in 2041. What the globe, what the, how the country, how the economy and technology look like. Uh, thank you. So our last panelist is Ms. Uh, Sonia Bashir Kabir, Managing Director of Microsoft. Assalamualaikum, good afternoon, Namaskar. 3.30 to 4.30. Is rapid eye movement power of a deep sleep on a Friday afternoon. So, I mean, how do I begin to get your attention and then hold it? So, thank you, Honorable Director, for inviting me, Chief Guest. 
um, this special guest and our keynote speaker, <coughs> respected panelists, and all of you. Estonia, uh, you've all heard about the country Estonia, and they brag about their e being a fully e-gov country. But what bothers me is there's only 1.3 million people, and the population that is being served by government employees, 5% of the population is government employees, or actually 2% is government employees. On the other hand, Bangladesh has 160 million people, and 0.05%. So firstly, if I was employed by the government of Bangladesh, I would actually give myself a clap, saying, Ami, onek manush ke serve korchi individually. So the ratio of the people the government of Bangladesh employees serve is much higher than most of the countries that boast about being technology adaptive. Um, from Microsoft, I'm going to study policy, the kun country, the kun population, and how many government employees they have, how many citizen services are being automated or digitized, and I, I know this sounds different than what a lot of speakers have said, but we actually are doing very well, in my humble opinion. I think the private sector is failing the people of Bangladesh. And I'll, I'll take you to my thinking and why we think that's happening. Shorokuti Bangladesh, we have 70 million farmers with 60 million labor class people. What are we doing for the farmers? These farmers have made us self-sufficient. We eat, we don't import rice. Manushi nutrition and then if I take you to a little different angle and you look at the labor class, and the lowest level of labor is our home health, right? What is happening in their minds? Every year we see that they are getting better and faster. Our sports people, our sports people are getting better and faster. Why? It is actually a lot to do with nutrition. There was a study done where they said that the natural intelligence is actually forming from your formative years in childhood where your nutrition allows you to focus, your nutrition allows you to take decisions that are more informed and intelligent. So if we park that aside and we come to Bangladesh and say, okay, what is happening in the country? Amar Mote, we are actually proceeding, we are doing a lot of good things. Yes, we're such a big country. Yes, we're a lot of people that the, the improvement is not visible on day one. When a giant moves, the first few steps are not very easily tracked. You suddenly see that the giant has moved from location A to location B. It, it doesn't happen in a gradual step. We are not very nimble. That is because our population is big and serving everyone is a difficult task. So if we look at the government initiatives that we have and how can technology actually play a role in, in empowering the government leaders to make better decisions or to serve the citizens faster. The citizens are actually becoming very aware. They know what they need. They want more services. They want faster services. And the, the budget is always, always going down and the needs are going up. So how do you solve? And keeping in mind that data is the new currency. Data is electricity. The amount of data that 160 million people can produce is, is actually a phenomenon. The newest technologies, I'm sure all of you know, machine learning, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, uh, blockchain. Mobile devices is just an entry point into a cloud where the date, everything is parked. Everybody knows Facebook, right? You can access Facebook from any device, anytime, anywhere in the world. That is where services will be. It will not be specific to your laptop or to where you are. It will be everywhere, anywhere. And whether it is a local cloud, which means the data resides in your country, or whether it is a public cloud, the data resides outside your country, is a sovereignty issue and a government decision. In Bangladesh currently, we only allow public data to be residing locally. The Bangladesh Computer Council is coming up with a tier four data center where a lot of data can be kept for all the citizens' information. What can we do with data? What technology will allow the government to do is process unlimited amounts of data at the speed of lightning. If I was to give you an example, what the government does, we've heard about services and how long it takes. But if we look about what happens when a signature is required for a process or a permission to be granted, sometimes there are as many as 50 signatures required. Now, if we put technology on top of a process, technology doesn't solve anything. And I think uh, um, Anir mentioned that, that it is the people who do. The process has to be nimble in order for the technology to be successful. So 
Now, there's a lot of research being done, and as Microsoft, we do a lot of POC, proof of concepts with governments, saying that can we help you review your process before you decide on a technology? Because if you can streamline your process, then it is much easier to do a techno uh, technological leapfrog. It is not possible to do leapfrog when you have very big or windy processes, and that's something I know the government is working on. If I look at, um, like, Another remark that was made, that the brain drain. There's three of us who have come back. I lived 20 years in Silicon Valley. I saw the rise of the personal, era of personal computing. In the 80s, the laptop suddenly became a pervasive device for everyone in the household in the United States to have, and it went through the world. I saw the dot-com boom, I saw the dot-com bomb. And then I moved back to Bangladesh, and that is where I am from, is my country, and I see there's a lot of potential. Yes, we are losing people. But we are a country of 160 million people. If I lose 100, my backup is 1,000 more. If I lose 1,000, I can put in a million more. We are invest the government is investing in education, in technology. So where is where is the bottleneck? In that's what I would just share with you. In my opinion, and I would be I'd love to have a conversation later as the panel the panel continues. That where you disagree with me. So. What is the bottleneck? Where is the problem? And I think there's a few things. One is awareness. Does everybody know what technology can do for you or for your ministry? Where is that continuous learning that is happening? I, I, I welcome feedback, but I think in my opinion, when we go and talk to customers, we see that there's a lot of things that are not being shared. And how do you share that on a, to 800,000 government employees of Bangladesh? How do each ministry, each decision maker, each IT person in the department or, or you know, the administrative officials know that we have a problem to solve for the department? What's happening now is we're offering, we even as Microsoft, offer sophisticated solutions to sometimes problems that do not exist. And we say, Mr. Problem, come and find me. That's not solving this technology. Solving means you identify a need, you identify a problem, and then you solve it. <laughs> One of the biggest areas that we're grappling with is education, right? We have, um, I think, 40 million students enrolled in, in universities. And you can correct me if my number is wrong. But the numbers are so big. What are we doing to track what is the learning mindset of people? What are we doing to track? Use artificial intelligence to say that these are naturally inclined to the sciences, these are naturally inclined to the arts. So how are we managing the intelligence that we already have? Most of you, when you travel, go to airports, and you will see that suddenly your gate number has changed. And I'm not sure if you ever thought about why, but you know what happens, is the machine learning says, flight number X is leaving from gate number two. It has a 50 connecting passengers from country Y landing in gate number five. The time it takes to transfer from gate five to gate two is not enough time to make the connection, not for the person, but for the luggage. So the computer is trained to say the amount of time it takes to transfer from one gate to the other and the luggage to transfer moves the gates closer. So then, then gate two and gate three versus two and five. The, the traveling time is eliminated for the person and the, and the property. This is what technology is doing now. When you are making decisions, when you can have help from technology to give you meaningful insight, every ministry had a dashboard of what are the things that are happening in the ministry, which rolled up to the prime minister, and she would know what are the five important things she needs to look at on the 50 plus ministries wouldn't that make decision making easier? So this is where technology is going. It is taking the processes, streamlining the processes, and making unlimited amounts of data being crunched into a single source of knowledge, which is information, which is power. Thank you. Uh, the last is panelist. She uh, very nicely appreciated your role that how a very small number of government servants are giving uh, services to the people of 160 million, compared to Estonia. Um, so how teacher empowers, uh, she told about data, we know about big data, open data. Uh, I did not get time to speak on open data also. So one encouraging thing, if we lose 100 experts, we will create 1,000. We will create 100,000. 
and uh, it's a continuous learning how government employee is uh, working and uh, uh, the development process of Bangladesh. Thank you very much, Sanya Bashir Kabir. Uh, you have just ended your time for impact. It was fixed for uh, 1540 to uh, 1600 hours. So what do I do? So you, you finished your health break time. So okay, five minutes health break. And uh, tea and snacks will be served here. So please do come back in five minutes. Thank you. this will become real. How the future of work.
2041, maybe beyond. Now, the floor is open for discussion. Uh, so please be very brief, not more than uh, one to two minutes. Uh, we want to hear from all of you. Thank you very much. Who is first? Rof. So we are proceeding to the commission. Our civil service is not that small as you mentioned. It's 1.1% of the total population. And if we consider the autonomous bodies, it's 1.5% of the population. And we spend roughly 3% of GDP to maintain this civil service. So it's a, it's a big thing. You know that, not that small. Uh, sir, I mean to the big picture of the world, I mean, sir, um, fourth uh, industrial revolution, I mean, 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 Question on okay, ask for this. Do we have people with qualification, with education, with skill? I mean, sir, at the Bangladesh, largest skills development project in the project. I mean, sir, 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 I our Bangladesh is a Ashilok Kolo Pitish Gaspore, Kolo billion dollar dish per time. A Bangladesh, Chalok Kolo Gaspore, past billion dollar near. So these are the big pictures, sir. Our Hilama there, the Jokon big picture, the Pathola Abyssal to academic point of view. Our education system is, sir. They put only fourteen, one four. 14% of students in the entire education system technical education for 86% for general education. In Germany, 25% in general education, 75% in technical education. In overall Europe, is 30% of the general education for 70% technical education for it. sir, general education is the SRP for the China, sir. 2 million. John Ball every year and host is in the economy for new job. You know, the roughly one fourth, five hundred thousand, some sort of skills are said, they ask for the money. But in three fourth, they don't have any skill for the job. I call sir, I'm not, I'm not demographic dividend, both is sir, both take us, sir. As I know, sir, I can answer, I'm actually at the Missile, Roger, the Kajami Sari economics students are up to the week. You can also bear me out. How they have the growth of this? What they have to say? It's from investment and from labor. Up there, up there, it's important. It's called factor productivity. What do you do? I'm going to say 30% invest for this. I'm going to say I got only around 4.5. That is around 7 upon a growth of this. I'm going to say regression analysis for the final division. Did you say the way I'm going to say investment of the time, sir? एवं जो भी एक भावे हमारा इन्वेस्टमेंट थे के एवं सर लेबर थे के भी तो सर ग्रोथ पे था के ताहोले 2025 में ए इन्वेस्टमेंट पे आपने आपना ग्रोथ आज पे लेस देन 5 परसेंट एंड 2030 तक सर ए इन्वेस्टमेंट पे आपना ग्रोथ आज पे लेस देन 3 परसेंट तो हमारे सर अपन आपना दौर का नोले इनिशियली प्रोडक्टिव so my question and my submission is that for your reflection, our education is a big part of our education. Our education is rightly washed out. I don't mind, sir. It's a mission of freedom. Our education is high. But our education is a big part of it. I think that is a high time, sir. Our competition is high. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. A few people taking back 4 billion. Uh, you know that government is very keen on this. And uh, in the last session, we were discussing about 100,000 uh, driver, 500,000, uh, sorry, 500,000 uh, say construction worker and all this. Uh, and uh, we strongly believe if this 25% can be raised to 100%, then this 15 billion. This 15 billion will be 40 billion, uh, and the 66 billion is required for the SDG implementation, and that will be better. And the one one information you told that 14 percent is from technical education. Yes, sir. But if you look 10 years back, it was only one percent. So you should tell the story 
that you have come from 1% to 14% and there is no in which टीचर्स primary teachers and secondary so aapne jo aapne bol rahe hain you so and also in my calculation i didn't factor the teachers it was only the administration so that is uh, 0.05% but we'll I'll, i'll come back to you and learn more okay we 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 5% specific special time for uh yes is up the secretary you are joining yes yes sir thank you very much sir should i get started sir i like draw the attention of our I mean, Mr. Sir, uh, again, sir, big picture. Um, we always see that the uh, developed countries, big picture of the developed countries, like the uh, revenue administration, income tax, or high level of income tax. But in our countries, sir, we say still now we are. self assessment system in countries we the people they are very less but because of our constitution <coughs> facilities basic uh, basic uh, uh, rights that our the samvidhan ta ache so samvidhane amader ke je bhabe chalito kore bishesh kore sir ei कारण Very nice profession now. Very interesting profession. How much you making income for that? So I'm at this. Thaka Shwar is one of the key points. Says this back. No emphasis. Global big picture to big system. So I'm just going to show you how it is done. Big picture. After this, it's a big deal. Sir. It's a big deal. Hearing the big pictures and the mega trends and national implications. Thank you for a nice presentation. And thank you, uh, especially Ani, showing us the dream country in 2040 or maybe in 2030. So I'm I'll be uh, not repeating what both have already mentioned. So just only one point about technology. we understand and acknowledge that the technology is coming and we have to adapt technology but we have to also our ke dharana bodhe rakhte hobe je we are living in a country which has 160 million people abong regularly jekhane amader ke 2 million moto market e asche sir for employment abong technology if we concentrate too much heavily on technology and only on technology <coughs> then there will be a situation where this can this country can be a uh, different one uh, can we look a different uh, sort of a scenario where you have a huge number of people unemployment will be there and you have a technology i don't know how i'm putting this question to our panelists and the presenter how you see this man power in the 40s and how they let up this situation thank you okay
in the new picture, global regional mega trends and national implication. Uh, we are very delighted to uh, have you uh, Kaji Amir Sansar and his paper, and also the valuable comments from the panelists. Uh, I just uh, slightly differ my brother colleagues that uh, yes, we have the uh, large population and uh, how we, uh, if technology we adapt, then they will be in uh, travel. But uh, we, we have no way. Actually, the, uh, the world is now, uh, the development and world is now with the technology. Without technology, we, we don't uh, keep our uh, GDP now 7.84 and inshallah we think that it will be 8 and 9 and 10. So without uh, technology, we can't uh, do this. So um, I think that it, uh, it uh, can be possible if we think uh, our uh, students in, uh, actually the question was that classroom or schools. So uh, I think that if uh, just we start the uh, artific artificial intelligence things in our primary level, then I think after the 10, 20 or 30 years, we will have the people. Actually, in that time, the, uh, the uh, workforce is needed for the making this type of artific artificial intelligence things. So I think our uh, education system should be line up on that way. टेक्नोलॉजी <laughs> पढ़ाशुना प्राइमरी सिंपल लिविंग एंड हाई थिंकिंग ये फिलोसफी ये शॉप तो ताते भुगते हो अपने अब प्राइमरी और फिर ही स्कूल थे के वही पेट है पेट है से टेप और ये 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 नॉलेज ये पार्टी के चाहिए थे शे आदर्श लिए थे शे 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 गुली ये पार्ट तक कर ले ये ये शोमुसा पूरे सारे शोमुसा इस उटा मिनिमाइज कर देते हो वाले इतना � has uh, changed the global scenarios and so we have to adopt uh, artificial intelligence for the development of our society but so it, it, it will it will make a lot of people unemployed and so we, we have to create uh, the alternate jobs for this and another one global economic field it may be so uh, China, we are Japan, but we have to run after that. Without uh, doing this, we cannot also stand. And innovation is uh, very important. We have to do a lot of things for uh, purposes. And GM, sir, in agriculture, genetically modified or, uh, organism, that is uh, genetical engineering, has changed the whole agricultural, uh, agricultural uh, sector in our last year. So a lot of farmers are going to be unemployed, so we have to think about that one. And another one is <coughs> drug addiction is a very important factor in our country and it is killing our uh, generation. So we have to prevent this. 
Another one, uh, global warming and and uh, 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 environmental pollution is a is also an important important factor for the government. We have to think about this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, you have mentioned the technology development. Sir, we have to do that. मानो उधर कौन से जोर जोर एक्सपोर्ट के शाले जोर में सारा उधर उन लोगों देश के रिपोर्ट हॉर एक टीसर शॉप में देखते हैं जब तब तो शेष शॉप में टीसर आम तौर पर उन लोगों का नाम हॉबी सर आप उधर बोल रहे थे कुछ और नहीं है सर ये टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट के क्षेत्र में आम तौर पर जो पूजा उन � तो भविष्य के शेष चालीस साल में दोबारा तरह आप देश में एक बार देखने के लिए जाते हैं। तो एक बार बहुत दिल है ना सर, आप देश के जो वेबसाइट बोल रहे हैं, ऐसे बाजार नोंगा जिम्मे सर दिन दिन एक बार सर एक भीतर आप तो बुक करो चल। तो तो कारण तो एक बार एक बार देखा खुला सॉफ्टवेयर � अरे नौ बजे जब तो सात तारों भावे को दिखाते हो चल जैसा सात बजे को ऐसे जब बैठ के ना इतना आज से ये वो लोग किस भावे कंट्रोल करा से हैंडल करा जब नौ बजे जब तो किस भावे बोल के ना बैठे लोग मेरा पुलिस का दबदबा नहीं हो रहा है थैंक यू थैंक यू उन्हें सार जेटा आज से इतनी दिक दिक सार सार के दोनों बात अपने हमारे पे शॉप का देखा चल रहा है आशु ने बस तो बताई थी हम तो एक इतने सार जेटा हमारे ने शंके को लो जे आने में सुधर जेटा देखा लेते हैं ये एक आर शॉप में उनका काफी बड़ी पॉड है आशु ने टेक्नोलॉजी हमारे समाज जी आवश्यकता है ये तो हमारा अपना जो कुछ रुसी लगता है बहुत बहुत बोल बोल रहा हमारे तो बहुत तो जे ये रहा चीज के पाका के ये तो एक बार तो हमारे तो नेक्स्ट जेनरेशन जी तो तारा की तो हमारे तो बहुत एक हॉबी जो तो एक ना होता है एक हॉबी तो एक तो हमारे जो बहुतों स एक हफ्ते साथ पार्टनर जेटा फलों आप लोग जाने जेटा फलों को शक्ता जेटा आपने बहुत मुख्य शिक्षा दी है खूब गुरुत्व दी जाए आप देख सकते हैं ना शोले यूनिवर्सिटी आपने बोले आप देख सकते हैं टेंडेंसी जेट शॉप के लोग फलों जेट विश्व विद्यालय कॉलेज को रहा शादरों जेट एक शिक्षा ये बोले तो फिर हमारे अनेक विषय में तो दावा होते हैं तब लेकिन तो यार ठीक है हमारे ये डॉक्टर जो ना बोलते हैं ये तो ये तो जो डॉक्टर एक ऐसे उनके साथ ये तो हमारा आर्ट का विषय ये तो उन्होंने जाना चाहिए ये तो एक तो आगे देखा नहीं ऐसे से यूनिवर्सल आवार दे एक साथ ये हमारे जो इतना बोल तो मैं एक ही शंके जेटा सुलोग को टीम से के जेटा हमें आवाज़ शंके ने जरा कोको सारी दो परसेंट तो हमें रहने पे कब जेटा कोको पुलन ना बोलो ऐसा है बहुत बिल्कुल बोलते सी तो एक ही तरह एक ना बीच में जेटा सुलो जे जरा न्यूज़ बार्स सी तो उसमें बिल्कुल एक तो पढ़ाला क्या करे दाते ब जो भी हमारे शिक्षा बुद्धि स्थान, उन्हरा संबंधित शिक्षा बुद्धि तो हमारे के हमारे सेवे में रामादे थे के पेशी में तेरे संबंध पर है, इटा अपने तो बर्बर पेशी पर है, तो ते इखा ने जिता आप लोग जे जरा हमारे कोर्नो जी बोले सरकारे साथ के जो कुछ भलो पर है, जब मैं रखते सिंह नील बोल रही जाए और बोलती तो ए बीसीए सब तो बोलने से सुधर जाओ आज तो एक आनाट करे जो भी आवाज़ दे रखे ना जनाब खालो करे बाज़ जब जब हम तो तेज़ दिन के जो दिन ही है जाओ आज तब भी उनके दूसरे के सॉन्ग रिस्पॉन्ड करे एक आप देखे तो गुरुत्व दवा आठ साल की बात ना आवाज़ आरी बोलते बोल लो एक आप देखो जब फॉरेन पर जी दायित्व तो एक उनके दूसरा लोग फेसबुक आप वो लोग मोबाइल यूज़ करते हैं जो लेकिन लेकिन वो मेरा ऑलोस भी था वो भी शोध एक उनको मौह अच्छे जितने भी पार में न्यूज़ भी मतलब यारा फाइज़ अच्छे इसी के लिए कि तो इतना कुछ नहीं चल रहा है तो तेरा एक दिन तो हम प्राइवेट जेटा तो जो पटना शेखा बोलने जेटा तो प्राइवेट सेक्टर के खूब बेशक बुरुत तो दिखा पाते हैं कारण स्वास्थ्य के बारे में आपने बहुत जो भी किया था तभी और मैं शॉन्सलाइज करते थे तभी शुद्ध रहे एक वो हमारे खूब बुरुत बुरुत दायित्व इधर के बेशी बेशी एक नहीं आता है सात दशक